What is going on today? We are going to break down the Orange County real estate market from May 14th, 2022 to June 13th, 2022. We're going to answer a lot of questions. Is the average sales price going up or going down? Is inventory going up or going down? And are houses sitting on the market longer than usual? At the beginning, we're gonna break down information that you, the consumer, has uh, by going to my website, rickjleehomes.com, and I will show you later in the video how to access the information. And then even later in the video, I'm gonna pull up some numbers from May that I have access to as a real estate agent that I wanted to share with you dissecting the Orange County real estate market. So make sure to stay more towards the end of the video to kind of examine that. But um, yeah, my name is Rick Lee. I'm a local Long Beach and Orange County realtor. And if you're new to my channel, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to get more real estate content delivered directly to you. All right, let's get into it. So like I mentioned, <clears throat> This is my website here, rickjleehomes.com, and you, the consumer, has access to all of this information. All you need to do is go to rickjleehomes.com, go over here to the market snapshot tab, go ahead and hit and enter the area that you want to research. Today we're breaking down Orange County, but if you want to research Tustin or Santa Ana or Laguna Niguel or Huntington Beach or Westminster, wherever you wanted to to look at and examine the market, you have access to all of this information. So today we're going over the market from May 14th, 2022 to June 13th, 2022. And uh, you know, I see a lot of red here. <laughs> and uh, that's what a lot of people are asking. Um, is the market going to tank? No, short answer for me, no. Is it shifting? Yes, um, you know, it's shifting to more of a normal market. Um, but we are seeing the number of sold listings going down. Um, and I think that has a lot to do with the interest rates up. And uh, yeah, I think that is scaring a lot of buyers away. But um, you know, I'm in the market for a house here soon. And uh, I'm excited because it's going to be less competitive for when I'm ready to pull the trigger. Um, but yeah, number of sold listings down 322. The average sales price is also down $57,000 and the average day on market is one more day at 19 days, which is still good, but obviously we're seeing a shift here in the market. Let's look at some market trends over the last couple months. Um, and this obviously is only all the way up to May. And so we're seeing the average sales price dip down a little bit compared to the last couple months. Um, and then the, um, the number of units sold has gone up since April here in May. And yeah, I mean, look, all of these numbers are telling me that we're shifting towards a healthier market. And I, I work with kind of 50, 50, you know, half of my people are buyers. The other half are, you know, people that I sell their property for, for listings. So I'm, I'm excited for the market to shift. Um, I think it's, I like a fair market. I like, you know, we live in America. It's the land of opportunity, right? I want to see people have opportunity. I don't like it to be a full blown buyer's market or a full blown seller's market. I think seeing it, uh, kind of healthy is, is important. And I'm, and I'm glad we're moving this way, but let's dive into some listings and see why these numbers are where they are. We won't go through every listing here in orange County, but let's go through a couple and just kind of see what we're looking at. So this property in Rancho Santa Margarita, it is a two bedroom, two bath condo, and it went 61,000 over asking. And my kind of take is, is the price point from 500 to a million is still kind of getting over asking. Uh, they did a study and I think this was nationwide. Obviously this is not you know, just California, but they're saying the luxury market has taken a hit over the last couple months. And as we move on to the next one, we have seen this one in Newport beach, which is only 20,000 down from what is uh, asking, but that's just an example of, you know, be, it being at a luxury price point and not getting 
what we're used to seeing. I mean, I used to tell my buyers like, you know, if you see a house for 900,000, be ready to pay a million possibly. If it's nice, if it's been flipped or it's really, you know, been done up, expect to pay a lot. But that is changing and that is good for buyers. Moving on to the property here in Laguna Niguel on Footpath Lane. 38,000 below asking. This is a five bedroom, three bath, single family home. Again, more in the luxury price point. And then, um, yeah, so green, red, red. I mean, th these are, before we were seeing green, 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 green on, on all of these lists of sales price. Um, so Laguna Woods, um, this is a senior community, 10 over asking. I mean, this is a, is a lower price point especially for Orange County, um, not surprised with this. And this obviously limits it being a 55 and over community. And then um, looking at this property in <clears throat> Rancho Mission Viejo, 110 over asking. I guess you would say this is the a luxury number, but for this area, this is kind of, you know, Mission Viejo is is, is more of a higher price point. So 110, uh, 110 thousand over asking at three bedrooms three baths um yeah and uh moving on to some more listings because i really want to get into the other analytics that i have like i was telling you earlier that i have as an agent <clears throat> through my mls that i wanted to share and these are numbers just from may but <laughs> they'll really show you the way the market is going so uh moving on to <clears throat> this uh property in huntington it's a two bedroom, two bath condo at, uh, you know, going 18 over asking, look, two months ago at this price point, I would, I would say that that probably would have been 30 to 50, possibly 75 over asking. Um, but the market is shifting this property in Santa Ana, 25 under asking, um, this place in coast, uh, Costa Mesa, Costa Mesa is a hot market. Everyone wants to move to Costa Mesa. <laughs> You know, it's right by Newport Beach. Um, I love Costa Mesa. I wouldn't mind living there as well. Um, but 205,000 uh, over asking at a five bedroom, six bath home. And then uh, Tribuco Canyon, uh, 10K over asking, a 2-2 two -two at 860. And then a Rancho Santa Margarita listing at 5K over asking. So. You know, it all depends on the property, but um, my perception is that it's changing. I mean, you're seeing this here. I showed you, you know, obviously on this page, only one is below asking, but um, we are seeing the market shift. Let's just do one more page and see what else we've got. Um, this place in Santa Ana looks like a fixer, um, lower price point for a single family home in Orange County. I mean, I hate to say that, but 680,000. Anyone outside of Orange County or California, I know you're probably looking at this going, what? Um, but yeah, um, it's expensive to live in Orange County, California. Um, but yeah, 15K over asking this property in Fountain Valley. There is limited inventory in Fountain Valley. I remember for a couple months, I think there was one or two listings, maybe. Um, so 35K over asking, I'm not surprised. That's a townhouse at almost a million dollars, four bedroom, three bath. Um, <clears throat> this property in Huntington, 25K over asking, um, and this is a townhouse. And hey, if you wanna dive deeper and look at these photos, all this stuff, again, is accessible on my website. Um, and then just finishing off this page, and we'll move into the more detailed analytics that I wanted to share with you, but um, this is a Laguna Woods property that went at asking, Remember, it's a, it's a 55 and over community, two bedroom, two bath, and it is a condo. And then this Lake Forest house, um, another great community, 20K over asking two or three months ago, probably wouldn't have been 50 to 100K over asking. So that is what we are seeing, my friends. And now moving on to the more detailed analytics just for May. Remember, this is just for May. So new listings kind of stayed the same, you know, uh, just seven more from May to April, um, which I am not surprised here. Active listings, 
gone up. This is the number that I really wanted to share with you guys. Look at the active listings. I mean, we went from in December only 2000, right? And let's think about basic supply and demand. The less supply, the higher the price, right? The more supply, the lower the price. So this, if this number keeps rising, we will probably see more price drops and lower pricing when it comes to homes. And again, especially with the high rates, that is scaring a lot of buyers away. Let's get into pending sales that was going on during May. That is down as well. <clears throat> Close sales dropped a little bit from April to May at 2,522 here in May. And then total closed sides, that, I mean, that's kind of the same stat, but yeah, 5,044 here in May was down a little bit. Closed volume down as well. Um, days on market, this is the one that sticks out to me as well too, where in May, April is 13, 15 here in May, excuse me. And the month supply, this is another one that we should really take note on. It's still, it's almost at two, <clears throat> which uh, back in December, it wasn't even, wasn't even one month supply. So if this number keeps rising, we'll see what happens. Um, price per square foot still moving up, right? People ask me, do you think prices are going to drop? And I don't think they're going to drop, but it's not going to be like we've seen crazy over asking numbers. Um, percentage of last list price down, right? Down, down from 104% in April to 102 here. Um, percent of original price down, right? Only 3% over 3.7% over original price is what is kind of selling. Median sales price is down, you know, a little bit here. <clears throat> so yeah, this is the, all of these numbers are so interesting. I, I, I just love these stats and I hope you guys too. And I appreciate you guys watching. Um, moving on to shows to contract. This is another thing I want people to, to, to notice and, and to really take note on is last month or in April, we had four. Now we're down to three. I've been to a couple, I went to a couple of open houses this last weekend. They were pretty slow. They were pretty slow. So the last one that I'll show you here is the shows per listing again, down by one. I mean, that's just an average number, but you guys got to understand, look where we were here in January. So yeah, it's quite interesting. Again, I believe it is shifting to more of a healthier market, which is good for the consumer. Sellers are still going to sell. Buyers are still going to buy, right? It's not like it's crashing and we're, we're going to lose a ton of value in the properties that we own. It's just getting healthier. And this is a good thing. I want everyone to appreciate this. So, um, yeah. So I want to thank, thank you guys. guys for watching. I appreciate all the support. Um, you guys have been really cool. Just sending me messages and, and asking me questions and, and I appreciate all of that. And so send me questions, send me, tell me what you want to hear. Tell me what you want me to talk about. Again, my name is Rick Lee. I'm a local Long Beach and Orange County realtor, and I am always accessible. Send me an email, hit me up on social media, go ahead and let's connect. Thanks for watching. And I will catch you on the next one.